Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, interesting changes are happening recently on Throne and Liberty servers in Korea. Could these changes indicate that we are getting close to global release of this title? Maybe, possibly. Let's talk about it. Before we start, let me just say subscribe to my YouTube channel to see more of Throne and Liberty videos in the future. As you probably know, I'm playing Throne and Liberty on servers in Korea basically since release of the game, since December 7th, 2023. I'm playing this game every single day and I'm live streaming on Twitch. Check my live streams on Twitch every evening about 6 p.m. Central European time. And since I'm playing this game every single day, even little changes which are appearing in the game, maybe they're not looking that much huge. I can notice them. So first big change within the last few weeks, you'll notice here. In front of me, you can see basically after login screen, before you enter the game, you will need to press here on enter. And what did change here recently? You can see here big throne and liberty logo. You can also see here enter tab. However, this sentence here below the logo, between logo and the enter tab, didn't appear before. Within the last few weeks, we have noticed this sentence, Throne and Liberty is a trademark of NCSoft Corporation, NCSoft Corporation, all rights reserved. This is a minor change, but this minor polishing could indicate that we are getting closer to global release of the game. Because for the last three months, this sentence didn't exist. This didn't appear on this main screen. This was everything the same, everything else, this rotating thing, right? Uh, logo of the game and enter tab. However, this is not the only change. Let's go into game. Let's go inside the game to show you something else further. What is interesting, what did change recently? Okay, let's pick one of the characters. It doesn't really which character will I will pick. Let's go on this character, for example. I already create, uh, uh, I have actually level up uh, two characters to maximum level 50. What to say? There is lots of time to play the game since we still don't have any kind of global announcement for now. I'll talk a little bit later about what is currently happening with global version of Throne and Liberty regarding the news. Now, when you get in the game, everything is kind of looking normal, appearing normal. However, within the last few weeks, another little change Nevertheless, actually big change. In front of you, you can see a user interface for different kind of quests. In this game, in Throne and Liberty, we have purple quests, which are basically your main storyline quests, blue quests, which are exploration quests. Then we have contract quests. These are yellow quests and guild quests. These are green quests, right? Now, regarding these icons, you can see here, right? Purple, blue, yellow, and green icon. They have recently changed appearance of these icons. How? You can see here. Before the change, basically, color was the same. However, different color, actually, but shape was the same. Now, they have changed shape of the icons, probably because of colorblind persons, because there are people who don't uh, distinguish colors very well. So, they can make change regarding shape of these icons. Now, this change is looking again like final polishing before global release of Throne and Liberty. Because for global version of the game, you would like to have these things polished. It's not only that. Regarding PlayStation 5 and Xbox version of the game, we have seen recently within a patch note like 10 days ago, final polishing regarding user interface for controller support. For PlayStation 5 and Xbox, probably you know that, Throne and Liberty is one real PC MMORPG available only on PC and consoles, PlayStation 5 and Xbox. That's it. No mobile devices. And we have seen recently, again, polishing regarding UI for consoles. Everything together, it could indicate that we are getting very close to global version of the game. Everything here is looking like final polishing, final touch on the game before that global version of the game. It is possible, right? These changes aren't huge, but when you think a little bit about these changes, right? Look at this. This is really looking like final adjustment, final preparation before global version of the game. Or maybe I'm just grabbing onto something which doesn't mean anything, but recently also we have seen on Steam database some interesting changes you can see here regarding Steam version of Throne and Liberty. I mean, Throne and Liberty is already listed on Steam. You cannot play it still, 
game is not released, game is not available globally. Nevertheless, we have seen some changes you can see here on Steam database, which could indicate that something is happening. These changes doesn't need to mean, again, something, but it could be indication. These changes could indicate that we are getting very, very close to global release announcement. From Amazon Games, officially, there is nothing new. Sadly, this evening, just to let you know, I'm following all the official news regarding global release of Throne and Liberty, and not only regarding global release, of course, regarding everything what is happening on servers in Korea. Sadly, this evening, there is nothing new from Amazon Games, publisher of this game for North America, South America, Europe, and Japan. I can also show you here on official Twitter account of Throne and Liberty, they didn't tweet anything new since October 18, 2023. So nothing new for now from Amazon Games. Nevertheless, these minor changes in the game could indicate that something is happening, especially that big change regarding entering logo, right? I mean, for the last three months, when you were entering the game, it was only logo and enter tab. That's it. And now they have added that, that NCSoft is uh, ownership of NCSoft, uh, that Throne and Liberty is ownership of NCSoft Corporation ETC. Why would they add this to the main logo, uh, main uh, entering website? There is a reason. I assume these changes also for PlayStation 5 and Xbox version of the game, final polishing for user interface, then polishing regarding these icons, right? That colorblind person can also see a different shape, right, of these icons. I think those adjustments are final preparation for global release of Throne and Liberty. For this evening, I wanted to share with you my uh, guess, assumption only. Nevertheless, I think this is it. Guys, prepare yourself. I think we are getting very close to global release, at least to some announcement regarding global release of Throne and Liberty. And on the end of this video, just to shortly mention that Amazon Games will be there at Game Developers Conference 2024. Main reason why they will be there is not Throne and Liberty. You can see here on Monday, March 18, they will talk about women in games celebrating your achievements. Also on Wednesday, March 20, the power of community feedback to create better games. That is regarding a new world game which they have developed and published. But you can see there will be also Q&A session. Maybe during that Q&A session, uh, somebody will say something regarding a Throne and Liberty global release, right? This would be a perfect opportunity, right? This is a big event because many other gaming developers will be there, including Amazon Games. So this would be a very nice opportunity that they give us some kind of information, maybe not regarding release date for Throne and Liberty, maybe regarding beta. Right? That would be a really nice opportunity. I will follow what is happening on GDC 2024. If I see any kind of news, something interesting regarding Throne and Liberty Global Release, I will let you know about that instantly here on my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Twitch to see more of Throne and Liberty content in the future. I'm live streaming every evening about 6 p.m. Central European time, so join me to see some gameplay and to find out what is happening in MMORPG and PC gaming world. See you soon.